Hello, my Stampin' friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill's Stampin' Queen. Thank you guys so much for joining me on a Monday and kicking off your week with some Stampin' fun. So I wanted to remind you real quick, guys, celebration is almost over. So it is going to end February 28th. That's coming very, very soon. So if you haven't had a chance to grab those items for free that were on your list, now is the time. So we do have two celebrations a year now. That's why this one is a little bit shorter because when we have our next holiday catalog coming out in July, we are gonna offer another celebration. So I'm really excited about this because I know um, you and I both are going to be shopping that holiday catalog like crazy and we might as well get some free things with our purchases, right? So we do have two celebrations a year now, which is awesome. So because it's getting ready to leave, I'm gonna have ask you guys to join me for the final countdown head on over to my Jody Breckbill Stampin' Queen Facebook page and join me every day at 10 a.m. I'm going to be live a couple days and a couple days I'll have recordings because I am getting ready to go away on my craft retreat but I want you guys to still come and join me there might be prizes friends so I'm just going to stamp with you and show you some of my favorite celebration items and there might be a couple little things on your wish list yet that you haven't picked up and so why not get something for free with each 50 and $100 purchase so you're gonna hop over to Jody Breckbill stamp and Queen make sure you actually follow my page so that you know every time I go live and when I'm running specials and everything that's going on in in my stamp world the other thing I'm gonna ask friends is go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can find the subscribe button just click that little button and it will tell you every time I post a video so thank you guys so much if you already are my followers and my subscribers so today we're gonna to do a little bit of stamping with one of my favorites these guys don't you love them they are just so darling so I've had a lot of fun with these friends but it's time to get ready to say goodbye so we're gonna create with them today and we're also gonna use the flower and fields designer series paper so I'm pretty sure I can say that I love every pack of paper we have in the celebration mini the paper blooms is stunning with its colors you know the the seaside spray and the navy and the Rococo rose I love the berries, the berry, berry blast paper, I think it's called, or berry blessings. Love that one, but the ombre is very cool too. I'm gonna miss ombre, definitely, but this one just speaks to me, and I think it's because it's got the black background. It just makes those flowers really pop, and I have had a great time creating some cards with this paper. So let's go ahead and do a little stamp in here. So um, here's my dimensions. Um, you guys are telling me that you love when I post the dimensions here. And um, I don't edit my videos anymore, guys. It, I have really, really bad Wi-Fi. And so when I'm trying to edit and upload videos, it was shutting my Wi-Fi down for everyone in the house and taking hours, literally hours and hours. So um, I stopped doing it. I'm, I'm just real. I'm here and what you see is what you get. And um, so hopefully that works for you guys. But I did want to put the dimensions here because you guys are telling me that you do like that. So we've got our, our basic white here, eight and a half by five and a half. Fold that in half. There's our card base. Pull in a piece of bumblebee, which is five and a quarter by four. And then just a little strip here of that beautiful designer series paper, that flower and fields. And I'm thinking... I'm gonna trim it just a little bit. I didn't write my dimensions, but it is five and a quarter by two. So let me do, oh, I can't on my little mini. That's all right, I think we're just gonna go with it. It's gonna be the same length. So that's gonna be five and a half by two today because I didn't trim it down. So we'll go ahead and attach that to our bumblebee. And then I'm gonna pull in some ribbon from Flowers for Every Season ribbon pack. So I just want, I knew there was gonna be a little bit here at the end, so we'll just trim that off. It's not much, it's just a, just a skosh. All right, so there we go. We've got that Flowers for Every Season. This is a three pack, so it comes with the Just Jade Gingham 
and the Misty Moonlight Twine. And then we've got this, which is kind of like a white linen. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the back. And I'm just going to do a little wrap around. And then I can attach that. Um, maybe I want to hold off on that. Let's back the truck up a second because <clears throat> I want to do my stamping first. So I've got a piece of white here, two and one eighth by three and a quarter and my donkey. So let's go ahead and stamp him. I'm getting off camera a little bit. Get him good and inked up with some memento. And I want to make sure I don't cut off an ear or a tail on him. And I'm going to go a little bit higher because I'm going to have that ribbon go across this piece. So that's why um, I kind of held off on that ribbon. I'm going to have the ribbon go across and so I don't want to cover him up. Now I do have a piece of scrap here. It's just a little basic white and I'll go ahead and stamp hey there friend while I've got my ink open and then I'm gonna die cut that out a little bit later so the next thing that we'll need is some blends <clears throat> and let's see what I've got here I do think I want to grab a gray All right, so I'm gonna do a smoky slate and that's gonna be his tail and I've got smoky slate light. So I've got his tail and then I've got his little forelock here or his little mohawk it looks like and his hooves. So we'll make those gray. This guy kind of reminds me of Eeyore a little bit but I'm not gonna color him purple today. We're gonna do a little bit of light flirty flamingo for the inside of his ears and then I grabbed my crumb cake so when I do that I've got the dark crumb cake and I'm just gonna color where his shading should be so definitely under his little belly here he's gonna have some shading here on his rump a couple at the top of his ears maybe underneath his little cheek there he'd have some shading and then I'm gonna do some shading on his nose so just put in the dark then I'll come back in with my light and just start blending. And I'm hoping my light was giving me a little bit of a fit the other day. I think it's starting to run out. So we'll hope we'll make it through. And I just like to color. Um, I've talked about this before. This is my way. Every demonstrator has a different way of how they like to do their blends. I like to do nice little circles and I just keep going over and over the same area and start to give it some shading. And basically what you're doing is just laying down layers of color. So with the alcohol, it is drying while you're coloring, which is why it make, these, these are so amazing. So I go over top, the alcohol also will start to wet what I have already done with the dark and allow me to, to blend it a little bit better. So the more you go over top, the more you're laying down another layer of color. And I tend to like, there's a brush tip and there's also like a fine hard bullet tip. That's the one I like. I don't really enjoy the brush tip, but you know, sometimes it works. 
Now the other thing that I'm going to do, is this what I want? I've got, I pulled Granny Apple Green, but I'm not 100% sure that's the one I wanted. I think I want Old Olives, so hang on for a sec. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna do a little bit with the old olive here, and all I'm gonna do is come in and just give him some grass underneath his little rump so that he's not just kind of floating in the air, and I notice my old olive is definitely dry. I wonder if the other side is better. Nope, not at all. Oh, this one may have to be going to the, to the bin. Sorry, Olive, I've got more. All right, that's gonna be good enough. You guys get the gist. And then I wanna come in with my blender, my uh, color lifter, and I'm just going to kind of make a bunch of little circles and I'm gonna bleed out that, that color that I just did so that it really doesn't look like it's, you know, strokes. And this is just a straight alcohol marker, and it's just picking up and bleeding the color a little bit. Okay, so now it looks like he's not just sitting in the middle of nowhere. All right, donkey. The next thing we're gonna do is a little die cutting. So I'm gonna grab my stitched so sweetly dies. They're a little off here. If you guys do not have these storage solutions, um, from Stampin' Storage for your dies. Oh my gosh, please don't wait. I kind of was trying to go a cheap route and do things with like those magnetic plate covers and they're just so flimsy. These are a nice hard board that's got the magnet on and the magnet is on the back too. So you can store dies on the back and then it slides right down here. I keep my name of it in there. It slides right down in this envelope. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. From Stampin' Storage and I actually have an affiliate link so you can shop through me so I will post the link uh, in the comments of this video so scroll down there and check those out because they are the bomb y'all all right so let's wake up baby boss wakey wakey baby and I have a piece of black don't I yep piece of black cardstock we're gonna lay our little stitched shape on there we'll see if I did this right because I'm left-handed so sometimes it, I have to do things a little bit different here shake the camera around a little bit for you guys nothing like a little bit of seasickness here on a Monday morning there we go we've got our die and while I'm at it I'm going to go ahead and cut out our friend. Okay, so that one is done. So I don't lose these, let's put them back. I have quite the crafter math after I have done a video and I have to go sometimes search for what has gone missing. There we go. Now, hopefully you're gonna stay still. There we go. And so now we've got our little hey there friend ready to go. And I'm gonna put baby away. You can go back to bed. Thank you for your service. Oops, so sorry guys. All right, so now we're ready to do some assembly. So let's get our donkey and put him on that black scallop. and he just fits right in there. I am gonna put some dimensionals on him. A couple little pop, pop tarts here in the corners. One in the middle for luck. Oops. And I'm going to bring in my silicone sheet because this has adhesive on it already. So if I lay it down on the silicone sheet, it's not going to stick to anything while I put the donkey on here. 
kind of center him. Now I'm ready for that strip of ribbon. So see, now I can, I can put that just underneath of him. And if I wouldn't have done that, I'd have been a little bit too high, I do fear. It's a little tight, so I'm gonna back it off just a little bit, put some adhesive to hold it down, and now we're ready to put it onto our card base. All right, fella. Oops, don't put him on upside down. That could be a problem. There we go. All right, so now I took some of our Baker's Twine. This is with the snail mail, but I have been using it like insane on everything else. So it may be non-orderable or backordered right now because it has been crazy popular, but hang in there, we will get more. So I'm just gonna take two of those. I miss our white Baker's Twine so much. I hope that it comes back and sticks around. Now let's see if I can do this. I struggled when I did it the first time, being a lefty, a lefty bow tier. So I'm just gonna tie myself a little bow to pinch that ribbon. Oh, did I lose an end? I feel like I might have. All right, we'll try it again. One's a little bit longer than the other, that's the problem. So maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. Come here. There we go, and then I'm just gonna pull those down to make my pieces a smidge, smidgy smaller. I just want a little bow. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. And I'll grab my Hey There Friend. I'm gonna do a little adhesive on the top and then a dimensional on the bottom. There we go. And it's, it's just gonna kinda sit right here down in the corner. There we are. I can fuss with my bow a little bit later. And then finally, I needed a little a little extra. He needed some bling. So I have got the sequins. Uh, what are these called? Artistry Bloom sequins. And there's one here that's an orangey one, and there's one here that's kind of a yellowy one. So I'm gonna grab the yellow. And where's my picker? Grab my picker tool here. Lots of you guys ask me about this case. This is from my friend Tamara Davis. She makes a, these, this is not the way it comes. It comes in a cardboard box. And uh, my friend Tamara makes them. So you can find her on Etsy under Tada Moments. And she actually, I don't know if you can even see. Look at what she did there. Movilist Stampers, that's my team. And she put my name and my little logo in there. Love, love, love this case. She does a fantastic job. So you can hit her up on Etsy. All right, so let's give ourselves some sequins here. And let's do another big one. No, 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 let's do, let's do a small one right here. There we go. Just, he needed a little something and everything's better with bling, right guys? All right, my friends, that is it. There's our little sweet donkey card. I hope you guys enjoy him. Don't forget, you have until February 28th to grab the Darling Donkeys. He is free with a $50 purchase. Or the Flowers and Fields paper, that is free with a $50 purchase as well. Or a $100 purchase gets you both for absolutely free. So thank you guys so much for joining me, my friends. Don't forget to head over to, to Jody Breckbill Stampin' Queen and join me every day next week for the final countdown. And um, subscribe to my channel so that you guys know what's happening when. Have a great week, my friends.